Welcome back. In this video, we will take a look at some of the most powerful AI powered features in Excel and how you can use them to save your time. So what are the embedded AI tools in Excel? Embedded AI tools in Excel are features that use machine learning algorithms to help you analyze your data. These tools can be found throughout Excel and they can be used for a variety of tasks such as data cleaning and transformation, data analysis and visualization, natural language processing, forecasting and prediction. So the examples of AI tools in Excel include Flash Fill, Smart Lookup, Quick Analysis, Power Query, and Analyze Data. Let's take a look at them one by one. All right, let's take a look at Flash Fill. Sounds interesting? Yes, indeed it is. So here I am in Microsoft Excel and I have these names, first name and last name, and I have to get the full name. I can use an Excel formula also, but let me write John Droy. Also here, let me write Jane Smith. As soon as I enter the second name, the other full name is flash on the screen. I have to simply hit enter on the keyboard and boom, it is here. You have got the full names. So that is how flash fill works in Excel. Now let me create email IDs also for these employees. So I will write John Doe at email.com and for second I will write Jenny Smith at email.com. As soon as I enter the second email, the other email address is automatically flash on the screen and I have to simply press enter on the keyboard. So boom, here I have got the email IDs. So the important thing about flash fill is that it detects patterns in your data and makes predictions accordingly. In case it doesn't make the right predictions, you have to give it more examples so that it can make the predictions right. To manually use flash fill, give it an example, select the range in which you want to get the responses, then go to data tab, click on the flash fill icon here. Else you can also use a shortcut key for flash fill that is control A on the keyboard and it will get the responses for you. So that is about the flash fill tool. A quick reminder before proceeding further in the video. If you like the content on this channel, kindly subscribe and hit that notification button so that you can stay updated as I upload new videos like this. The next Excel's AI tool is Smart Lookup. So Smart Lookup in Excel is an AI tool that uses Bing to search the web for more information about selected text or data. This information can include definitions, translations, Wikipedia articles, images, videos and other multimedia content. It is powered by a machine learning algorithm that has been trained on a massive data set of text and code. This allows it to understand the context of the selected text or data and provide the most relevant information. So in this Excel sheet, I have the names of some of the companies. I am curious, I want to know more about, for example, Apple in Incorporated. I will right click on this cell here, then click on Smart Lookup. Smart Lookup, Lookup will immediately search the web and give me more information about Apple Incorporated. As you can see, it automatically detects that Apple Incorporated is a stock data type and I can click on this insert data type here. As soon as I hit insert data type, you can see that the data type of Apple Incorporated changes from general to a stocks data type. Now the importance of stocks data type is that you can click on this cell, then click on this card here, insert data. You can insert any of the data like the number of employees, the stock price, the headquarters. Let me click on employees here. You can see that Excel immediately enters the number of employees at Apple Incorporated in the next cell. If you want, you can also search the media. For example, I want to insert the icon of Apple Incorporated in this Excel worksheet. I will click on this media here. You can see Bing immediately searches the web for Apple Incorporated. Now let me click on any of these icons here, then right click and paste. So I have the icon of Apple Incorporated here in this worksheet. I can do the same thing with other companies also search the web for using Smart Lookup then Multimedia. Here I have got the icons of Amazon. Let me copy it, right click and paste in the worksheet. I have got the icon of Amazon. Here I have got an extra tip for you. For example, you want to insert the icon for each of these companies in a cell and you want that the icon should not float on top of the worksheet, but it should fit within the cell. 
to get a result like this simply use the image function the image function has a parameter named source so you have to put a source for the image you have to put it in double quotes i have got this image source for amazon's icon then close the parenthesis hit enter on the keyboard here you have the icon for amazon notice that this icon is resizable as you increase the cell size the icon automatically increases in size as you decrease the cell size the icon decreases in size so that was about the smart lookup the next embedded ai tool in microsoft excel is the quick analysis tool quick analysis in excel is also an ai tool it uses machine learning algorithms to identify patterns and trends in your data and recommend charts tables and other data analysis tools that can help you understand your data let let us look at an example so here i have the sales data for various products here i will select this range of data here automatically this quick analysis tool displays you, you will click on this tool you have various options here formatting you can insert the data bars you can insert the color formatting icon sets here you also have this option charts you can insert various kinds of charts here quickly you have these totals here you can calculate sum average count running totals also you can insert tables here spark lines here so this quick analysis tool automatically detects the context in your data and accordingly recommends various types of charts formatting and tables next up is power query an important data cleanup and transformation tool power query is a vast topic in itself and it is outside the scope of this video to discuss power query entirely so i will just give you a gist about how power query is an ai tool so for that i have this file saved embedded tools i will close this file here and open a new workbook then i will go to data tab here in the new workbook i will get the data from file from excel workbook i can get the data from other sources also i have a lot of options here i can get from text from xml json from databases from azure from power power platform for the time being i will go here and get the data from excel workbook in which i have already this data so here is the file i will import this file power query connects to this file then i have these tables here and these worksheets here i will select this power query worksheet the power query navigator gives me a quick preview of the data in the power query worksheet i will click the transform data tab here once power query opens you will see that there are a lot of options there it is it in itself a machine an engine which can help you clean up your data and transform your data immediately after opening the power query editor you will see that power query has automatically applied some of the steps here it has promoted headers and it has changed the type that means power query has automatically considered the first row as the header row and it has changed the data type that means it has automatically detected the data type for some of the columns as you will notice here for the date column you will see this icon here calendar icon that means power query has converted the data type for this column to a date data type similarly quantity it's a number here that means it's it has been converted to a number data type and price has been also converted to a decimal data type if you feel that some of the data types are incorrect you will right click here and change type for example i will change the price to currency data type replace current so i have this price data type here so to show you how power query is an embedded ai tool let me give you an example for example we want to get the full name we have first name and last name here we want to get the full name of the customers so we'll go here to add column then column from example in the column from example we just have to give power query one or two examples and it will automatically get the data for the entire column so we have to get the full name here the name of the first customer is john first name is john and last name is doi so we will type the full name here john doi as soon as i hit enter on the keyboard you will see that the values for other cells immediately flash if i am satisfied that the other values are correct here i will simply press ctrl and hit enter on the keyboard and the values for other cells will be here in front of you so here is the full name column all of the entries are correct 
So once you have done all the cleanup work in Power Query, then you will go to the Home tab and click on Close and Load. But before that, I will just give you a summary of all of the options that are available in Power Query. So here in the Transform tab, you have these options use first row as header, transpose, reverse rows. You can change the data type here. You can replace values. You can fill the values. You can unpivot columns, split columns. You can even merge columns. So these are all of the options that are available in the Power Query editor. In the Home tab also, you have a lot of these options. You have these options to merge queries, append queries. Once you have done the cleanup work, you will click on Close and Load. So here in the new workbook, you will see that Power Query has loaded 20 rows. The important thing about Power Query is that if the source data changes, if there are any changes in the source data, you have to go to data, then click on refresh all, refresh all and all the changes will be reflected here accordingly. The last but important AI tool in Excel is analyze data. Analyze data in Excel is a powerful AI tool that can help you quickly and easily identify trends, patterns and outliers in your data. It can also help you generate charts, tables and other data visualizations that can help you to understand your data and make better decisions. Analyze data in Excel is powered by a variety of machine learning algorithms including natural language processing, computer vision and regression analysis. These algorithms allow analyze data to automatically identify patterns and trends in your data and to generate insights that would be difficult or time consuming to identify on your own. So to use analyze data, click anywhere in your table then go to home tab, click on analyze data. First up, here you can ask some questions in a natural language like for example i will type a question what is the total sales in usa it immediately gives me the answer sum of total sales 175.25 total sales in canada immediately gives me the answer 151 let's check it here country is canada total sales as you can see below here sum is 151 in addition to asking questions about your data analyze data also recommends you insights about your data it can suggest to you various types of charts and graphs which you can adjust and you can also change the settings here for example i know that analyzing email data is irrelevant so i will deselect this Analyzing customer ID is also irrelevant. So I will also deselect customer ID country. I will keep product. I will keep quantity. I will keep other fields. I will keep once I have made the changes. I will click on update then Analyze data recommends me the revised these charts and graphs There are a whole lot of charts. You can show all the results here. Let me insert this pivot table here as you can see here, this pivot table gives you the average age of customers who bought each of the products. For example, the average age of customers from the UK who bought whole milk is 39.75. Similarly, the average age of customers from Canada who bought dozen eggs is 36.33. A word of caution here, you should not always rely on analyze data, whatever metric it gives you, whatever chart or graph it recommends you, you should adjust that and make changes as per your needs so let us change this pivot table as per our requirements i will go to pivot table analyze click on field list here i will get the total sales by country i will deselect the product here i will deselect this age here then i will bring this total sales in the values box here as you can see the total sales for each of the countries is Canada 151, UK 211.75, USA 175.25 with a grand total of 538. Now let me drag this product in rows box. Now you have this product wise sales for each country. You have this grand total for products and this grand total for countries with product wise sales for each country here in the pivot table. So this was a brief overview of Analyze Data as an embedded AI tool in Excel. Now after all this overview about the embedded AI tools in Excel, you now know that they are a powerful way to save your time, improve your accuracy and gain new insights from your data. 
If you are not already using these tools, I encourage you to check them out. You may be surprised at how much they can help you. I hope this video was helpful in your Excel journey. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Keep supporting, subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.